China's aviation industry is making a bold move to establish itself as a major global player with the development of the C-929 aircraft. This wide-body jet is designed to compete directly with the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350, two of the most advanced and widely used long-haul aircraft in the world. The C-929 represents China's ambition to reduce its dependence on Western aerospace manufacturers and assert its presence in the highly competitive commercial aviation market. This ambitious project is being spearheaded by the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, or COMAC, in collaboration with Russia's United Aircraft Corporation, UAC. The joint venture seeks to challenge the long-standing dominance of American and European aviation giants, offering airlines a new alternative for long-haul flights. By developing the C-929, China is not only advancing its technological capabilities, but also strengthening its geopolitical influence in the global aviation industry. With growing demand for fuel-efficient, long-range aircraft, the C-929 is expected to play a crucial role in reshaping the aviation landscape. If successful, this project could mark a major shift in the balance of power within the industry, opening the door for China to become a key competitor in the international market. The C-929 project was initiated as a key component of China's long-term strategy to establish itself as a dominant player in the global aerospace industry. Recognizing the need to compete with established manufacturers such as Boeing and Airbus, China sought to develop a wide-body, long-haul aircraft that could serve both domestic and international markets. To achieve this goal, the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, or COMAC, partnered with Russia's United Aircraft Corporation, known as UAC, in a joint venture aimed at leveraging both nations' strengths. China contributed its expertise in large-scale manufacturing and supply chain management, while Russia provided advanced aeronautical engineering and design capabilities. This collaboration was expected to produce an aircraft that would reduce reliance on Western aviation technology and create a viable alternative in the global market. However, as the project progressed, several challenges emerged. Geopolitical tensions between China and Western nations, coupled with technological disagreements between COMAC and UAC, began to strain the partnership. Additionally, the complexities of developing cutting-edge aviation technology, particularly in areas such as composite materials, avionics, and high-efficiency engines, led to significant delays and disagreements over intellectual property rights. In light of these issues, recent reports suggest that China may be reconsidering the joint venture approach and opting to move forward with the C-929 independently. By doing so, China could exert full control over the aircraft's development, ensuring that critical technologies remain domestically sourced. This shift aligns with China's broader push for self-sufficiency in high-tech industries, reducing its dependence on foreign expertise and mitigating risks associated with international political uncertainties. The C-929 is a next-generation wide-body aircraft developed as a joint venture between China and Russia to challenge industry giants like Boeing and Airbus. This ambitious project integrates cutting-edge aerodynamics, composite materials, and advanced propulsion technologies to create an aircraft that is not only fuel-efficient, but also optimized for long-haul travel. With an emphasis on sustainability, passenger comfort, and operational efficiency, the C-929 is designed to meet the growing demands of global air travel while reducing environmental impact. One of the aircraft's defining characteristics is its use of advanced composite materials, such as carbon fiber reinforced polymers, which significantly reduce weight compared to traditional aluminum structures. A lighter airframe translates into lower fuel consumption and enhanced operational efficiency, making the C-929 an attractive choice for airlines seeking to cut costs and improve profitability. Additionally, its streamlined aerodynamic design minimizes drag, further enhancing fuel efficiency and extending the aircraft's range. The C-929 is expected to accommodate between 250 and 300 passengers, positioning it within the same market segment as the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and the Airbus A330neo. With a maximum range of approximately 12,000 kilometers, the aircraft is well-suited for intercontinental flights, allowing airlines to operate non-stop routes between major cities across continents. This capability is particularly advantageous for emerging long-haul markets, 
and for airlines looking to expand their international networks with more fuel-efficient aircraft. In addition to its performance advantages, the C929 is engineered with passenger comfort in mind. The cabin features wider seats, improved air circulation systems, and quieter engines, creating a more pleasant flying experience. Noise reduction technology is integrated into both the engines and the aircraft structure, ensuring a quieter cabin environment compared to older generation aircraft. The wider fuselage design allows for more spacious seating configurations, reducing passenger fatigue on long-haul flights. Furthermore, the C929 incorporates state-of-the-art avionics and digital flight control systems, enhancing pilot situational awareness and improving overall flight safety. These systems are designed to integrate seamlessly with next-generation air traffic management infrastructure, ensuring efficient navigation and optimized flight paths. The aircraft also prioritizes environmental sustainability, with low-emission engines and fuel-saving technologies that help reduce carbon footprints, aligning with global aviation industry goals to lower greenhouse gas emissions. By combining technological innovation, economic efficiency, and passenger-centric design, the C929 presents a formidable alternative to Western aircraft manufacturers, positioning itself as a key player in the future of long-haul aviation. Its development signals a shift in the global aerospace industry, as China and Russia work to break the dominance of Boeing and Airbus, offering airlines a competitive and cost-effective option for modernizing their fleets. The C929 represents a significant move by China to challenge the dominance of Boeing and Airbus in the global aviation market. Designed as a cost-effective alternative, the aircraft is expected to attract airlines, particularly in Asia, the Middle East, and emerging markets, where demand for air travel is growing rapidly. By offering competitive pricing and potentially lower operational costs, China hopes to establish itself as a key player in the commercial aircraft industry. However, the C929 program faces several major challenges that could slow down its progress and affect its market penetration. First, there are technological hurdles. Despite China's advancements in aerospace engineering, the country still depends on Western suppliers for critical aircraft components, such as engines, avionics, and flight control systems. These dependencies expose the program to potential supply chain restrictions, especially amid ongoing geopolitical tensions between China and Western nations. If trade restrictions tighten, China may struggle to source essential parts, leading to production delays and increased costs. Although China is investing heavily in developing domestic alternatives, creating reliable high-performance aircraft components takes time and extensive testing. Second, there are certification issues. For the C929 to be commercially viable on a global scale, it must gain certification from major aviation regulators, such as the Federal Aviation Administration in the United States, the European Union Aviation Safety Agency, and the Civil Aviation Administration of China for domestic operations. Securing approval from these regulatory bodies is a complex and time-consuming process, requiring the aircraft to meet strict safety and performance standards. Given the rising geopolitical tensions and concerns over aviation safety, Western regulators might scrutinize the C-929 more rigorously, leading to potential delays in certification. Without these approvals, the aircraft will struggle to enter Western and international markets, limiting its global reach. Boeing and Airbus have dominated the commercial aviation industry for decades, building extensive relationships with airlines, suppliers, and regulatory authorities worldwide. Their well-established reputation for safety, reliability, and after-sales support gives them a significant competitive advantage. For airlines, switching to a new and unproven aircraft manufacturer presents risks, including concerns over maintenance and spare parts availability, pilot and crew training requirements, and long-term reliability and resale value. Additionally, Boeing and Airbus benefit from strong political and economic backing from their respective home countries, the United States, and Europe. They can leverage government subsidies, diplomatic influence, and established leasing networks to maintain their dominance. While China's state-owned airlines are likely to adopt the C-929, attracting international customers, especially in Western markets, will be an uphill battle. As tensions with Western countries escalate, China is reportedly moving towards developing the C-929 without Russian collaboration. This shift could allow China to fully control the aircraft's production and supply chain, reducing dependence on foreign technology, 
Investments in domestic engine development, such as the CJ1000A, are crucial to achieving this goal. Despite the challenges, the C929 represents China's determination to become a major player in global aviation. If successful, it could open the door for China to dominate not only the domestic market, but also expand its reach internationally. With continued investment and innovation, the C929 could mark the beginning of a new era in commercial aviation. The C929 is more than just an aircraft. It symbolizes China's ambition to break free from Western aviation dominance. While hurdles remain, its potential to reshape the industry cannot be ignored. Whether China succeeds in making the C929 a viable competitor will depend on overcoming technical, regulatory, and geopolitical obstacles in the years to come.